Hi, my name is Dr. Tom Sladek, and in today's video, I want to bring you some markers that you can use from blood work to determine whether or not you have an inflammatory response. Remember, inflammation is the cause of heart disease. You want to find out if you have it and you want to get it under control. There are certain markers that you can use to evaluate this. Right off the bat, blood sugar and insulin. If your blood sugar levels are high and insulin is going to be high along with that, you have a problem. That causes, the infl uh, causes inflammation. That causes an inflammatory response. You need to get that under control. Very important. Another marker that comes along with that, and your doctor will check that, is hemoglobin A1C. It's another marker of blood sugar. But blood sugar is very important. Get that under control if you're worried about heart disease. Next, high sensitivity C-reactive protein. There's a direct correlation with high C-reactive, high sensitivity C-reactive protein and heart disease. Very important. This is probably one of the top markers that you want to look at. Much more important than total cholesterol levels. Next, homocysteine. Homocysteine is an amino acid byproduct that's also involved with the inflammatory process. It's toxic to the arterial wall. One study showed that if you have high homocysteine levels, you have a two and a half times greater chance of developing heart disease. Important to get under control. Next is serum ferritin. Ferritin is iron storage. And iron is very susceptible to oxidation. Remember, oxidized cells are the ones that get involved in this garbage that's building up this plaque, this heart disease. And we don't want that. Fibrinogen. Fibrinogen is another marker, particularly in women. Fibrinogen is in a marker of the stickiness of your blood. And women that are postmenopausal or on birth control, um, you need to get fibrinogen levels under control. Uh, Typically, also, studies have found and doctors have shown that blood clotting problems are typically a, a major cause of heart attacks and heart disease as well. So those are some common markers. Now, you can get much more elaborate with testings. There's different labs that test a few more things, which is not a bad idea. But with these tests, you know, you can work with your doctor to get these done and make sure that these are under control because these are important. Remember, we want to get inflammation under control, and this is one way you can take a peek inside to see if everything's okay. Thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Press the like button if you liked it. If you need more information, visit my website.